there are lots of tools where you can record yourself speaking for like 10 minutes and it'll create a voice model out of that recording and then you can just text to speech type whatever you want and hear your own voice say it and it's already very good yes yeah, it's already good. very yeah. very good i mean you might have seen as well the now they have like sing singer models so you can actually make people's voices sing uh they've like you know someone released on spotify i think it was a was it kanye or some famous uh rapper's voice performing a song they never recorded yeah drake uh, right? drake it yeah. was drake wasn't it yeah and and i was they got taken down because they, they were like we don't know what to do with this yet yeah. oh my god we're like what how do we even handle this right and i remember when, when i was doing this interview for this little television spot i was talking um with my my boss from the company and he wanted to uh it, we he was thinking of mentioning how these voice models could even allow you to speak a language you don't speak and I hadn't even, I, I was like, oh, let's not mention that because I haven't seen anything like that coming up yet. And we might still be a while from that. So let's focus on what's like available now. And then literally three hours ago, I open up like my email and I see um, like one of the tech uh, newsletters I'm subscribed to. I see like Meta is working on a new voice modeling software that can allow you to wow. <laughs> speak different languages, even if you did not record yourself speaking them it can take your english recording and make you speak polish and i was just like oh lord this is all going to come up so quick uh, we have no idea what's coming <laughs> yeah and it's it's like that i mean i i try it out the, the descript is one of the yep. services that yep. has it and i, 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 I gave it like 30 minutes of my voice and it made a voice that i could type with and mm. i was going to make a video but then it's like now apple's going to do something similar in a future update they say and mm -hmm. there's something so it's it's kind of like you just can't keep up with this stuff yeah you, you the just pace is amazing yeah it's, it's really be receptive wild. and try to and try to react um, what are you doing to to stay up to date with how AI is going to impact your industry and our industry? Mainly just trying to stay informed and kind of look at trends. Um, I, I you know I think there there will definitely be a lot of benefits to what's happening, but there it won't be without consequences. Yeah. I think. I mean, one of the consequences it's already like you know generative uh, AI and creating music is something that people. Are, I kind of laugh a little that people are worried about that. Like, oh, the composers, like they're, you know, what are we gonna do if AI starts to create music the same way it's creating like copy for all these marketing agencies now they don't need copywriters anymore. Well, I, I kind of had to laugh a little about that because there are already libraries online that have hundreds of thousands of super high quality pieces of music that have submitted been submitted by artists over the years you know the the just the pile the, yeah. there's so much content out there already that anyone in the world can access for like 99 dollars a month and you're just like someone's gonna pay me three grand to create a custom piece of music for them when they could literally choose from anything yeah. <laughs> for that cheap and it's all really good it's not like you know 10 years ago on audio jungle where most of it was garbage yeah. it, it's if you're looking on like epidemic sound or some of these other like art lists they curate what's coming in and at this point the technology has just made it so that talented people anywhere in the world can create really high quality stuff they can put it out there on these platforms and now there's just so much of it that like, screw generative AI music, I can already go online yeah. and if I at least have like an ear for music and know what I want, I could probably find what I'm looking for in 10 minutes or less, or I can already have like, because sometimes we do projects at my company where they're, they're not, you know, they're not shelling out a couple thousand euros for me to make music for them because it's just not a huge, it's not like the, the valuable part of the project in their eyes. It's, in their eyes, yeah. You know, there's, it's, if we're doing something really creative and it needs it, then I will compose music for it. But sometimes it's just, hey, we just need something in the background that fits our brand and we don't need to you know, throw this much money at it. And that's fair, I can understand that. Uh, so I'm uh, on Epidemic Sound myself, like I'm just the, the curator, so to speak, just finding what I think will yeah. work for them, giving them a couple examples. They pick option B from A, B, and C. I cut like a clean loop so it's, you know, fits the project and that's it. Yeah. And I don't need AI making it for me yet. I mean, I'm sure that'll make it even easier. 
but at the same yeah. time it's, it's like that you know that kind of work has already been impacted for you know for five years now and in a, in a very serious way just by the amount of content that's available and how easily accessible it is and how now how high the quality already is you know it's uh it's it's a whole new world so i just think like staying on your toes um and and figuring out where things are going is just going to be important to staying alive so to speak in yeah. the industry well, that's what it is it's staying alive literally for some people mm -hmm. and that's where i i'm like oh i feel for people who um will be displaced i mean it may be me audio university <laughs> tells you information and you know what i mean you can get information mm -hmm. very easily from a from a generative ai um but other people will be displaced and that's where i'm like i'm excited for the future but i'm also sad and it's it's sobering when you think about that um the musicians like you said I'd like to think that those people are somehow being paid for epidemic sound submissions. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. But I now mean, they must if be. AI can pump out 100 in the time it took those people to pump out one, mm -hmm. then maybe even they will be displaced. And it, do you think that there's something lost there when AI is creating it versus when a human's creating it? Oh, oh that, no, that's a... I don't think a, we're there yet to that. where... Right now, my intuition would tell me yes. Mm. But something tells me that in a few years we'll actually see how human-like AI can get. Mm -hmm. And maybe my answer would change. Do you feel that way? Um, yeah, I, I think just just like in every business, you know, you have to figure out how you're adding value. And I, I think sometimes, um, this is a philosophy that I've developed over the years, sometimes I think creative people struggle because they got into it for themselves and not for like their clients or their customers. Mm -hmm. They got into it because they like it, because they want to create music or mix albums or whatever it is, right? So they're they're self focused, and I don't mean it in like a bad way. It's like that's their interest. That's what they're passionate about. That's all well and good. But if you you know if you see that the industry is moving in a certain direction, uh, and you recognize it, but you just like stomp your foot and say, well, that's not what I'm about, yeah. well, cool. And may, maybe you're totally like, you know, your, uh, your comments are well-founded that you know, something is being lost or whatever, you know, thing you might have, negative thing you might have to say about it, but it's still going it, it, that way. So moving, like you, yeah. have, you have to, your job, if you want to make this a business and a career and not just a hobby is always to say, okay, well, where is the value? Mm -hmm. where, how do I integrate? myself you know into it like how i have to interface with customers who find what i'm doing valuable and that's the the kind of the the game that we play yeah so well, and if, there is there are skills right now that you can learn mm -hmm. and it's online and right now as we ramp up to this point where ai can do everything without us it, it's not i've heard this thrown around it's not me saying this but AI won't displace you. Someone using AI yep, will displace yeah, you. So well. right now, you can adapt and, and use this as an opportunity, mm -hmm. you know, but maybe someday we won't be needed at all, and I'm not sure what's going to happen there. Sure, and um, some of these tools will just make our lives easier as well. Yeah. So And there will always be people who value human creativity and want to know that what they are receiving was made, you know, by a person and not yeah. technology. So maybe their job will just be to better market towards those types of yeah. people. But lots of tools like, you know, just make our job easier. Um, I don't know if I, I'm trying to think of what was this really cool. I, I haven't tried it or used it because I don't do that much music composition these days. It's called Voclia or something like this. This is like you can sing into your mic and it turns it into MIDI and then you can oh, nice. like run all like basically yeah. sing the melody line you want for the violins into yeah. your program instead of like, oh, maybe I suck at piano or uh, like I like I'm always me, I can run it through an auto tune. First yeah, and yeah. Then or like I'm always <laughs> drag and dropping all like I'm just writing my MIDI out with my mouse in a click and point style. And yeah. uh, so that's a great advancement of technology that's making your life easier and making your are, you're able to work faster, yeah. which means you can get more work done. 
in a smaller amount of time, which means you can maybe then be more competitive in the marketplace yeah. than other people. Well, and even on a more philosophical level, you know, what is art? Is it the idea that someone has inside them? Mm. So, you know, can a person who can't sing whatever they can think, can they, are they creating art in their head? They just can't get it out. And that's valuable still. So if mm-hmm. the AI helps us get that idea of the art out in a, in a easier way or makes that possible, maybe that actually advances um, human creativity, right? Now, I'm, I'm kind of stretching it here because maybe sometime <laughs> it'll it'll do its own thing. But yeah, for, I don't know. For, I'm, I'm not going to resist it, like you said. The train's moving. For, right? for right now, I think uh, people who are good curators are going to yeah. be able to interface well with this because uh, like with the AI image generation, uh, anyone can go type in some random garbage into this uh, you know, AI softwares and get some images but if you don't have a good eye for what a good image is, you can't select from all. It, it yeah. could give you a thousand images. Uh, you still wouldn't be able to choose a good one yeah. because you need to, you know, be able to recognize what is the right image for what you're, you know, you need or you know whatever use you have for it. So yeah. you still have to know what you're looking for. So it was like I can teach someone to mix music like the pros. But if they don't, if they can't hear and recognize what a good mix is, they're going to twiddle around all day, and it doesn't matter that they understand a compressor inside and out and uh, understand the fundamentals of EQ if they don't have a con- yeah. conception of what a good mix sounds like. They'll never get there. So yeah. they have to be able to uh, be a curator as well, and I think that's going to be more and more a part of creative people's jobs. Hopefully, not the only part. <laughs> Um, but, uh, so it's an opportunity and an obstacle, um, yeah. at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I mean, I see that for a lot of things like voiceover artists mm-hmm. and, and even sound effects. Like give me <clears throat> you, right now you've got a huge library and you know, which ones you love, but a imagine huge library it's like, that give is me an explosion for this situation. And the AI is just like, bam, a there huge it is. library that's been already tagged and yep. metadata beautifully. Because that's what AI uh, is, exactly. right? It's, it's tags. Just, it's going to get trained library. so yeah. easily. Yep. So <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see where it goes, but I'm also nervous. Like you said, opportunity <laughs> and an obstacle. But yeah, that's, I think that's always been the case with technology. That's True. the same thing studio owners back in the day said when people started to be able to record stuff in their own garage and in their own bedroom, like, whoa, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. is this isn't good. No, it is good. Oh no! How can you say that? So right. we're gonna have the same fight over and over again till the end of time when we all get uploaded to the cloud and fly off to Mars with Elon or whatever the hell. <laughs> well, well, before that happens, I'm glad we had the opportunity to talk, man, because it's Thanks nice for having a human experience. So, yes, a real yeah. human yeah, conversation. Exactly. Maybe one of the last one. <laughs> yeah, the last one. You heard it here. Yeah. <laughs>